Hello my loves, happy December. It's that time of the month again where we do a monthly. So December is almost here. I am getting ready. We're going to be doing five monthly spreads as always. First one up is my catch-all which is beauty in florals and we're going to be using the holly jolly live love posh sticker book so she has the scandinavian christmas in there and i couldn't resist it so that's exactly what we're doing here we go if this is your first time joining my channel welcome i hope you will enjoy it here if you are coming back to spend more time with me welcome back i'm so thankful you're here so let's get started. I'm going to put an edge of a blue washi tape to set the tone for myself. And that's how we're going to get started. Then I'm going to do the same thing with red on the other side. So if you didn't know, Scandinavian Christmas is a more of a blue and a red tone. Um... And it has these like distinctive, distinctive flowers and birds in it. So that's what I'm going to be creating. I'm going to be using that. And Mojo Jojo boxes to fill in. Look at these florals. Like look at this blue. It's so, so, so gorgeous. Okay. So first part is down. I'm going to go ahead and continue. We said with the boxes, there's a lot of things happening in December. So that's what I am working on right now. I'm going to grab all of these boxes that I can and go from there. So I'm adding all of these. My nails are kind of matching, but not on purpose, so that's fully accidental. Okay, I'm adding, let's remove that one because it's too close. Let's add a red one right down there. Okay. So there we go, that's going to be... Yeah, Christmas, New Year's Eve, so I can write down the plants that we have. Then I'm going to add these florals in here. Okay, that looks fantastic. I love these little flowers. It looks like that um, blue and red boxes match pretty perfectly, which I'm happy because sometimes it's a different shade and it just doesn't work, but this works. Let's add this really beautiful reindeer. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm gonna start adding small elements throughout the spread. And see what I meant? Like these little birds are kind of classic for a Scandinavian Christmas. I thought they're so beautiful. I can't get enough of this. So I'm just going. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of drop down all of these ornaments from different boxes and elements of the spread. I thought that's kind of fun. So this is the spread that's probably the most functional in my planner. Out of all of my planners, I mean. So this one gets all of the appointments, anything that's happening that day, anything that's due, um, any birthdays, anything like that goes on this one. So the other four are not as active, I would say. Well, the social media is, but outside of the social media, the other ones are definitely not as active. So I'm gonna add more boxes. 
And now we have something on that day. That day and this day. So yep, December is going to be super, super busy. I already know it. Okay, here we go, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add this floral to the bottom of it and maybe a couple little, maybe something on top. Let's see. Yeah, let's add these bells on top. I love the red and blue colors. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, I don't know, something speaks to me. Whenever I see this, it just makes my heart super happy. So there's um, also like these designs that are very traditional like that one. Um, I just cut these circles in half and because it's they were connected. So I separated them. I'm gonna add them into the planner to add a little bit something to it. So now I'm gonna put this back in my planner. There we go. So that's one. Let's go into my next one. My next one is going to be my meal planner, which is just the meal planner from the Happy Planner. This is the last month in that one as well so last time i am doing a monthly in that planner and i stuck in it all year so those are the planners that probably make me the happiest the ones i was able to stick in a whole year i'm also going to be using the same sticker book so holly jelly and i wanted to make like a sweet spread obviously december is not for dieting at least not for me there's too many things that are happening as far as food goes, as far as parties go. I'm not going to be super strict about what I eat. So we're going to make this fun candy cupcake cake spread. So um, yeah, it's a sticker from Live Love Posh. It's like a whole theme that she has in there. And it's so pretty and very like pastel like. So I wanted to make sure we can go ahead and get creative with it. So here we go. I'm going to start adding these little cupcake homes and gingerbread homes. Let's add this little guy. A nutcracker. Another little home. So this spread, for the most part, is not very functional for me. So, here we go. It's all decorative and it's mostly because when I'm flipping through the front planner, I don't want to have empty spreads and God knows I have enough stickers to fill all of this in. So I thought this might be a fun way to kind of incorporate food and like food spreads like this into the planner and we'll see these are usually very quick because like i said there is no rhyme reason or dates in this this is a complete free fall and i love it i wasn't sure how much i'm going to like this type of stickers in here i was questioning it but they are so super cute <clears throat> and seeing them on paper makes them even cuter sometimes i wish i saved these for another spread but oh well all gone actually not really gone because you get two pages of every single one of these so that makes more than one spread for sure okay what else? What else? Couple more things and I will be done, I think. 
I think I feel good about this. I think we are done. Let me know what you guys think about this sweet, crazy spread. Like I said, if you're not planning on your monthlies and you're not using them, don't be afraid to go a little crazy and add <laughs> some fun to your planner. Especially if you have a big sticker collection. So let me tell you, you're not going to use all of your stickers. At least I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this away. We're going to grab next one, which is the wellness planner called Listen to Your Heart. There we go. So this one... I don't know what I want to use. Hmm. Oh, I know what I want to use. Let's do a peppermint spread. So, this is an older Live Love Posh book from last year. And I have some Coffee Planner Mom stickers with this as well. So, if that's not enough in there, I can use those as well, which will be fun. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna add this huge card. Look at this peppermint card. So, so cute, right? So holiday-ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling all of these things. It's so bright and colorful and really, really pretty. So I'm going to be adding all of these little trinkets into the planner. So hot cocoa. Again, red and blue, right? It gets me every single time. Okay, let's go ahead and add this. And I'll add another peppermint lollipop in there. And some free fall candies, like so. Again, just having fun with this one. Not functional at all either. So we shall see what happens. But for right now, I'm just having fun with it. I don't think I'm going to use it in December for anything. Um, anyway, in my previous time before I had wellness planner, I used monthly for meal planning and my meal planner and I actually tracked what I ate in the meal planning section. So that's how it went. And now I'm just able to go ahead and use the monthlies as just fun free fall creative pieces which i love because how fun is this look at the peppermint spreads how fun is this anyway so i'm gonna grab the coffee planner mom quotes because they are probably the same red i want to say and we're gonna pop them and the blue ones will match because this is more of a turquoise hers is blue blue do you see what i'm saying but her quotes are very red and it's the same type of red. So this one says maybe Christmas. He thought that um, doesn't come from the store. Maybe perhaps means a little bit more. And I put back the holes with the pink because there's pink in the spread. This is going to offset the balance. Let's add cookies for Santa and then maybe one more. Let's see. Maybe one more and then I'll be done with this spread as well. So I'm going to add joy, um, joyful and I think that is good. You probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's from different sets so that makes me happy 
So that goes back. Next up is my creative journal and that one I actually want to use this month. So I might be doing like a Christmas countdown, doing something Christmassy every single day or something like that. So I will keep this one pretty open and I'll probably just edge all around the page and not really do anything outside of it. So like inside of it, I mean. So I'm just grabbing a sticker book. It's going to be the older, let's see, which florals should I use? So I have all of these Christmas uh, sticker books that I don't really know what to do with. It's kind of crazy, right? When you have so many stickers that you don't know what you want to do. But that's the reality of my current life right now, but I'm going to use the um, Live Love Posh book from last year. Let me see. Okay, so there's two pages. It completely falls a apart. It's, um, it's these white and red flowers, so very, maybe not necessarily Christmas, but very Christmassy indeed, at least I think so. I love these florals. I love the green in them. Um, I can add like Christmas icons and stuff as I go and fill out each day. But again, what's a spread with me if it doesn't have flowers at least one of them? So it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm adding flowers to my spread. Look how beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some edges and grab another um, tape because this one ran out so I grabbed my backup I'm gonna remove the lines and I'm gonna go ahead and place this down okay perfect and then I can go ahead and remove those lines. So like I said, I might be doing like something Christmassy all the way up to Christmas. So the last lines don't really matter that much. So I'll be adding bigger pieces to the bottom and all around the edge. Look at that. Look how pretty. Yeah, I really like it. And then I'm going to add a little bit more to the bottom. Yeah. Again, I know it's not super, super Christmassy, but by the time December is over and I'll be flipping through this, there will be so much Christmas, it won't really matter. I'm going to add some flowers along the edge of the sidebar. Okay, I think that's great. And then I'm going to add some stuff uh, along the edge of the other side. But it's going to be small enough where I'm going to have room to write or add stickers either way. Okay. I just need to add something to that Wednesday, like so. And I think I am done. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know it's a little bit different. I'm going to cut this so it looks like it's fitting. Perfect. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be writing in here. And this month will be functional. I know I haven't done that in a long time in my journal. But I think it might be fun. Okay, so that goes in. And now the last but not least, it's going to be my social media planner. So it is a new day. This one will need to be redated as well. Not only decorated, but redated. And this one I'm going to use this really 
fun. Stickers, um, but because this needs to be functional as well, it's going to be Let's see See I'm already messing up so I need to redate this like I said so it's going to be very very functional as well those are my two most functional monthlies my social media and my catch-all so I want to use something super bright since the other one is subdued so maybe this one I love my social media being super bright because <laughs> you guys um, it takes so much work to create edit a voiceover videos that when I'm looking at this planner and I'm doing all the work I wanted to make it so fun and bright and cheerful and uplifting So this is why I'm doing this for no other reason. Okay, so let's cut this excess and I'm going to start laying down <clears throat> stickers and boxes and everything. So let's go for it. So in the empty space, I'm going to go ahead and fill in flowers and make it a lot of fun with bright florals and these are poinsettias so very very Christmassy which is great and then I'm gonna find corresponding boxes hopefully maybe in the new one so Mojo Jojo has a new winter sticker book and it has purples in it and it has pinks in it <clears throat> excuse me and it is a little bit um, pale but I don't mind the boxes being pale so they'll be um, like lavender and a blush pink, but bright orange. So I'm not sure how that's going to look. Hopefully it works. But again, social media, not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it because this is mostly secondary work planner. And for this one, I'll need lots and lots of boxes because it's such a hectic um thing i in especially in december i post so many videos for you guys so um hopefully you guys like them so i'm just a little bit frantic but i do like decorating this and if you are into brights and love bright colors this spread might actually be for you Okay, so now I'm going to redate the planner really quickly. And I have these clear stickers. I don't remember where they're from. They're super, super old. They're from, I think they're from Michael's. They're like Heidi something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't remember her name, but anyway, they're super old i'm gonna just use the tape runner to remove the dates and we're gonna go ahead and redate everything so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this even more so you guys don't have to sit through this give me one second okay that should go much faster now that it's being fast forwarded it takes a while these are not the easiest to take off and I don't know if because they're old or if because they're like acetone clear sheets either way they're perfect for the size of the dates that I needed and they're clear so win-win and the minute I am done with the Dates will go ahead and add more decorations in between and possibly more boxes. But I wanted to redate and see actually how it looks and where I have the space to add stuff. Okay, 24, 25, 
six almost done okay and once i close the planner they'll get smushed down and really adhere to the page so i'm not worried about that let's go ahead and get more of these stickers so i'm gonna add a vase of flowers maybe sitting on top of a box like this perfect and i'm gonna add more color to the spread hopefully this way so I'll add some gifts and if i need to write something i will actually put a box on top of it so that's how it kind of works with me I'm gonna add all of these fun Christmas trees like look how bright and fun the spread it is even though it's not like I'm super trying very hard with this one so I like it but it's not like I'm sitting and thinking about every aspect I just grabbed books and started going right so that's where we are and after a few of these boxes we will be all set and all five monthlies will be done okay so just a few more boxes to go Again, like I said, with social media, there's a lot to track. This is kind of where I plan um, my content and put out what I want to put out. And then what happens is in the weeklies. So we, one more box, just one more box. There we go. Okay, so there we go for now. And I'm going to pop this back into my planner. If I need more boxes, I can always add them. Not a big deal at all. So I'm going to pop this back, like I said. And let's revisit all of the planners. So we have this one, which is my social media. And this is this planner is from 2021 and it's called New Day. So that's the first one. This is my journal, which is Sophisticated Florals. This is the Wellness, which is Listen to Your Heart. This is my meal planner and then my catch-all. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had fun. If you did, make sure to like this video. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.